Samsung DeX, it turns your smartphone into your computer. It harnesses the power of your Samsung device to make it your perfect productivity machine. Today, we explore every single way you can use Samsung DeX with your S23 Ultra and with a surprise guest, the Tab S8 Ultra. Let's go. Samsung DeX, it has been around since the Galaxy S8. And I have to say that even back then, it still performed exceptionally. The S8 launched off the heels of the disastrous Note 7. So obviously Samsung needed to bring and come in all, I was gonna say guns blazing, but preferably not. They came in heavy with the feature set and the Galaxy S8 was the perfect response. Samsung DeX initially at the start needed the docking station. It required power being run to the phone at all times, plus a HDMI out from the dock. It was a really good accessory and I think a lot of people actually enjoyed having it as a dock because it was somewhere to place your phone it would just sip on power and actually charge whilst DeX was being used. Over time, Samsung DeX evolved. And I remember the, the point when they changed from making it need the dock to just using a USB-C to HDMI cable. That was a big turning point, I think, for me for DeX because it threw off all the shackles and took all the constraints off and made it a true portable productivity offering. And because of that change and what where we are with DeX now, there is endless possibilities when it comes to portability and productivity together. And today's sponsor, Espresso Display, is the perfect example of that. More on that later. Before we look and explore the different ways you can use DeX, and by different ways of using it, I mean the different peripherals you can plug into it, the different accessories you can use, and different products you can actually use DeX with. Let's take a look at the actual interface of DeX itself. When you boot it up, you are greeted with a very familiar interface, one that closely resembles the Windows UI, something that I think everyone will be familiar with, which is your left-hand side is sort of a place where you like a start menu where you can access all your programs and your apps. The middle is like your, your taskbar from Windows where all your open apps are sitting. You can also pin apps to this as well. You can see with Samsung internet, it just stays there because I've pinned it. And then on the right hand side is things like your calendar, your notifications, your controls for turning off Bluetooth and all other stuff that you've got there in your quick panel. That's all accessible down in the bottom right corner. With DeX, you do get a couple of extra things. You can turn on screenshots and activate screenshots from this corner as well. And if you go into the taskbar settings of DeX, you can actually see all of the stuff that you can initiate, including auto hide taskbar, which up to you. I really like the look of it being there because it really is familiar, but up to you. If you like a more cleaner, uh, minimalistic look, by all means, turn it off. If you really want to, I guess, make DeX the best you can, the DeX settings menu is where you want to start because this gives you a complete overview over everything that you can do within Samsung DeX. Now, depending on what you're using it on, whether it be plugged into a monitor and TV, whether that being using it on the Tab S8 Ultra is what you might see in this menu. You might be in here looking at DeX settings for when you're connected to a display, or you might want to auto start it when you're connecting it to a display. It's completely up to you what you can sort of tinker with. You also in here can see a list of keyboard shortcuts. You can see what different shortcuts you can activate. And when you actually take a look at the list, they mimic very heavily what you can do in like your Windows and Mac shortcut environments. Muscle memory should be here. So it means that you're not reaching too far to have to learn a whole different sort of keyboard language. When you are in DeX itself, some of the apps that were great and promised to be great experiences from the start have evolved and become even better. Things like the Office Suite, your PowerPoint, your Excel, your Word documents, they are great. In fact, Microsoft Word, whilst it's not the full version, there's a lot you can do in here. You have access to all the fonts that you could want. When you're importing things like images, you have full control and autonomy to move them around, including changing where they sit within the page, whether it be in front of text, behind text, locked into text, it's all there. From a productivity standpoint, you have a really great offering that Samsung DeX gives you when it comes to apps. Of course, things like the Google Sheets and all the Google Suite of Docs as well, they also work really well. I'll get into that a little bit more later, but I use the Google Suite in Samsung DeX all the time when I host my trivia. But the thing with DeX that really works well is Samsung has worked 
really hard to make sure that windows can be resized. And there is options to go in and force apps to sort of behave in the way you'd like them to, but it just means like Twitter can go full screen, for example. Now, do you really want Twitter to go full screen? Probably not. But what you really appreciate about it is the fact that it can do it. And then if you want to have multitasking and open up a number of apps, Dex is the perfect environment to do that. It really transforms your smartphone into that desktop because your phone, whilst it can have lots of apps open, you're limited by the display that you have. Whereas in Dex, because of the way that it creates the environment like a desktop, you have so much possibility and can just throw as many apps out there as you like. So let's start with looking at the first way DEX was introduced, which is plugging it directly into a monitor. Now this way at the start, as I said, was very much reliant on the dock. You needed that, that docking station, it needed to have power. As the processors refined over time, they became more powerful, you were less reliant on needing power at all, and the phone had enough grunt about it to power the DEX experience on its own. That's why the direct cable to TV or monitor exists. All you need to do is plug one end of the cable into the phone, the other into your TV, and your DEX environment is launched. If you don't want to carry peripherals around with you and you just kind of want the cable, that can work because you can use your phone screen as your keyboard and as your mouse. You simply just have to activate it from the quick panel and you have access to a keyboard and mouse on your phone screen without even needing to bring anything else with you. Obviously, really practical for not carrying a lot of things if you're, again, a minimalist. However, if you are someone who needs that physical tactile touch of a keyboard, that is where a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse really comes into play. Where I see this working really nicely, if you're on the travel and you want to travel light, in hotel rooms, for example, where you've got the TV set up and you want Dex for a bit of an entertainment use case, plug it in with your cable into the hotel room TV and that's it. You can use your phone screen to navigate yourself around and away you go. So obviously you have the wired DEX solution, but then a few years down the track, they launched wireless DEX. Oh my goodness. Wireless DEX was something I couldn't quite wrap my head around at the time, but then I realized what they were doing and it makes perfect sense. Because whilst using a cable is obviously the best for stability purposes, wireless DEX gives you more freedom to move yourself around the room. And particularly if you're at your home, you don't need to be tethered from a distance away. You can have yourself on the lounge, launch wireless decks, and you can control that experience right from where you're sitting without needing to have this big long cable in your way. So this works with any display that has Miracast enabled. So most modern smart TVs have that. So you don't even need a Samsung TV. That's the thing I think is quite brilliant about it is you can use any sort of modern smart TV with Miracast and you have Samsung decks available to utilize. Obviously with TVs, it works great, but it also really works well with Samsung smart monitors. If you have a smart monitor on your, your work desk at home, you can launch wireless decks without any cables and have yourself a productivity environment that you won't get another way. However, the issue with wireless decks and even the other one is you're tethered to a single location. It's not something that you can get up and move around with you. You're locked in to wherever the monitor and the power is provided for that monitor is. That whole thing kind of defeats the purpose of mobility that smartphones are meant to be affording us. And that is where today's sponsor comes into it, Espresso Display. When Espresso Display reached out to me, I was so excited by the prospect of utilizing this display for Samsung DeX purposes that I couldn't say yes quick enough. The first thing I noticed actually when the, the stuff all arrived, I was really impressed with the packaging and the attention to detail that was put into the unboxing experience for all of the kit that they sent out. Everything is meticulously thought out and it really adds to the overall experience of getting one of these devices. And obviously, with me really wanting this to be used with Samsung DeX, you get everything you need in the box with Samsung DeX. And that is a simple USB C to C cable. And of course, depending on where you need to take it, you have the option to get two different types of stands. So you can get the folio type case, which actually is quite clever. It's like this velvety, really felt looking premium stand that magnets onto the back clips onto the top and then you flip it over to protect the screen when you need to store it away. That will keep it more of like a, I want to say ground level or table level. However, if you really want to elevate, you actually can get the portable stand, which folds away really compact and actually allows the display to magnetize directly onto the stand. And you can position it, you can even make it go in portrait orientation and 
you have a really, really good time using it that way. The thing I really love is this is actually a touch display. So when you are using Samsung DeX, you can interact with this via touch screen, the same way you would with your phone or your tablet. It's very natural in that sense because all the same ways you would normally interact with your phone are available through your portable monitor that slots directly into your bag. And that's the real hero. I can put this into my backpack and just take my phone and the cable with me. And as long as I have myself my Bluetooth keyboard and my Bluetooth mouse, I have myself everything I need from my smartphone. And that's the real benefit to it is whilst normally you might carry a few devices around and everything's a bit fragmented. You've got some data on here, some data over there. If you're someone who works exclusively from your phone, everything is there. So all you need to do is plug it into the display and away you go, you've got your work set up for your day. Now, if you think by all of that, that Samsung is coming for your laptops, get your hand off the keyboard. Don't worry about the comment section, just ignore it for now. You can leave some comments later if you wish. Samsung knew that this was not going to be a laptop replacement. What Samsung were trying to do with DeX is give people another option. People who liked to be a bit more mobile, they have the option to use DeX and do that. But they could see that people weren't ditching their laptops for DeX. So rather than completely try and throw laptops away, Samsung leaned into it and they actually developed DeX for PC. Initially it was PC and Mac, but I think the user uptake on Mac wasn't too high and the experience maybe wasn't great. They discontinued that service and just really threw in to Samsung DeX for PC. There's two ways you can get Samsung DeX for PC to work. Obviously the first thing you need to do is download the software. Now on Samsung laptops, DeX is pre-installed, but if you don't have a Samsung laptop, you can go to their website and download the software required to get DeX for PC to work. After the software is downloaded, you can either connect DeX via cable, which again, will give you the strongest connection that you might want, or my preferred way is DeX can go wireless to your laptop, which is just for me, the best solution possible. The way this works is providing you're on the same Wi-Fi network and it does recommend the five gigahertz network for stability purposes. You can easily find your laptop via the DeX icon in the quick panel. It will look for any wireless display. So whether that be your TV, monitor, or your PC, you just select your PC. And if you've previously connected it to that PC before, it'll actually prompt you to hit start now and you just bang, launches straight into DeX. What I really, really love about this is the fact that I can control my phone from my laptop's keyboard and mouse. So I can put my phone away lock the screen, it will not impact DeX whatsoever, and I can control all my apps, interact with photos, videos, respond to messages, play music, whatever it is that I would need to do or want to do, I have it there in that DeX interface. Where this gets elevated again, is if you have a secondary display, like I do with the Espresso display, I can have DeX running on one screen and my laptop running on the other. So if I'm someone who needs to work on both devices, I can have access to my phone on one screen and my laptop on the other. Proper productivity. And the best thing with DeX too is you have drag and drop between the two interfaces. So if I need to take a file from my phone onto my laptop, I can do that. Or if I need to go back the other way, I can do that as well. So I really, really like what Samsung did with DeX for PC. And I think this to me is actually my favorite way to use Samsung DeX. In part two, because you actually don't lose control over my phone screen. If I needed to pick up my phone, walk away from my desk, you know, take a phone call somewhere else in another room, watch YouTube videos while I'm making my lunch, my DeX screen won't be impacted by that and neither will my phone screen. The two can operate independently. DeX isn't just for phones. When Samsung launched the Tab S6, I believe it was a few years ago, DeX became a native part of the tablet experience. Obviously what was really great about that in introduction was that you could run it natively on the tablet itself. Because the tablet screen is big enough, you could actually have enough room to do all the things that DeX would allow you to do. Now, it's not a really good experience using it just on its own without a keyboard. Where DeX really shines is when you add that keyboard and mouse element to really elevate that productivity. Having the Tab S8 Ultra like I do with the keyboard does give me exceptional DeX options. Of course, I have the keyboard shortcut directly on the tablet itself, but I just really like the portability of it. It's slimline, I can chuck it in my bag and take it anywhere sort of I need to go and run productivity 
straight from my tablet. But where the Tab SA Ultra with DeX can become a true laptop replacement is when you actually add a monitor. So again, the Espresso display, another, another thin device that's really good display for productivity. When you add that in, you actually will get the option to run DeX on one screen, the monitor, and your tablet screen on the other. And with Samsung software, you can intuitively drag the, the mouse between the two displays. And it's very, very fluid, as you can see. The way I really like this is if I'm watching a video on one and maybe need to take notes on the other, or if I'm doing data input on one and then again, getting information from the other, I have those two displays to work from. And it's really, 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 really beneficial. The thing with the Tab S8 Ultra and DeX is because of its power and its size, the display is absolutely perfect to open up as many apps as you like. It is the perfect device to run DeX from. I really like DeX for a lot of reasons and the Tab S8 Ultra gave me extra ones just because of how well it ran. So Samsung DeX has refined itself a lot over the years. It's crazy to think that it started with the Galaxy S8, which is 2017 now. That is a phone from almost 17. That is a phone from six years ago. Crazy that something that that powerful was introduced to the market way back then. This is why I like Samsung's approach. They don't wait to refine something. They really give everyone something at the start and then they work on it as customers have their input for it. I like that because I believe that is how you truly get to understand what the customers are actually looking for by allowing them to be to use the software, use the feature set and allow them to build and shape what it is that comes next. I really am enjoying the Espresso display and what it offers. Thank you for them for sponsoring this video. That's it for this week. Thank you very much, everyone. I love Samsung DeX and I really hope this video gave you some appreciation for it as well. If you're liking what I'm doing here and you appreciated stuff like this, I've got loads more on the channel. So go on and head in and check all of them out. I also would appreciate if you subscribed. Obviously like this video as well. That way I can keep making these videos for you. I've got a lot of stuff planned including my Book 3 Ultra, which is on its way. Very exciting. So make sure you subscribe to check that content out. Of course, we're going to get the fold for the channel as well. So make sure you're here for that. Lots of stuff happening. It's always exciting in Samsung world because of how many products that they release. I'm going to be so broke. Anyway, until next week when my next video comes out, come hang out with me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one. You.